Hello everyone, Adam Hill Vending, Tampa Bay, Florida. If you're looking to start or grow a vending business, I'm here to help you. Um, and in this video, what I'm gonna go over, it's a little bit different. I'm gonna pull up a whiteboard, but let's go over uh, what I'm gonna go over in this video. The title of it, obviously, uh, talking about cans. Had two questions recently, okay? Why do you purchase so many bottles if you prefer if your preference is for cans, I'm gonna go into that. And then I'm gonna go into, Shannon had a question about a new location, apartment complexes as a location, touch on that. And then also about cans or bottles, should she start and put cans or bottles in this location? So I am going to address that. And then finally what I'm gonna do is, uh, my wife's gonna love this because, uh, she knows how much I love these. I'm going to bust out the whiteboard. I'm going to bust out the whiteboard and uh, really dissect the numbers as to cans and bottles. So give you some uh, insight into, it's an example, and then you can take that information and do with it what you would like. But if you're watching the video, watching the replay, and you have another question, drop it in the comments below the video. And I'll try to get to it. If you need more help with your vending business, hillvending.teachable.com. Full course, 80 videos, brochures, handouts, contracts, all that's in there. But let's get into this. So the first question, why do you purchase so many bottles if your preference is cans? Good question. So I prefer cans. I would prefer to uh, vend cans. And I'll go into those reasons a little bit. But the reason that we have to carry bottles is because in certain uh, medical facilities, certain manufacturing plants, they will not allow cans. Um, for example, like say at a school, some schools, if the if they tip over, they spill everywhere. Manufacturing, if they're manufacturing paint or there's fumes or something that can get in the air, it needs to be a sealed container. Uh, also, medical facilities. Obviously, there's airborne stuff going around in medical facilities, so they will... Uh, require that you have bottles that if the the uh, employee has if they want to drink it has to be in a sealed container so to answer your question that is why we have to have bottles the reason why we have to have bottles is because we have accounts that require us to carry bottles so hope that answers that question for you and next Let's get into uh, let's get into this one, Shannon. Okay, um, I just wanted your thoughts on cans versus bottles in a Vendo 721 machine. Of course, if you watch any of my content, that's the best vending machine that you could possibly get in 2021. Haven't found anything better. Drink machine. Our new location is Studio Apartments, 100 units, and the manager wants the machine located outside in a breezeway by the mailbox. They also have a pool for the tenants as well. So I was le leaning towards bottles, uh, but can't wait to hear you break down on my question. So here we go. Let's start at the top. Great machine. Great thing about vending machines is even if this cans or bottles, say this location doesn't work out, you can find a new location and you have a, a, a phenomenal machine to put at a new location. So by buying the correct machine, by buying a, uh, a solid, reputable, bulletproof machine, you, you made the first, uh, check the first box, okay? So that's good. Now, uh, apartment complexes. Different people, different preferences, different uh, experiences with apartments. I've had apartments, some good, some bad. I'll, I'll touch on some of the points. One, if you're outside, so you're gonna to have to deal with weather. Even though a Vendo 721 can be outside, you're dealing with uh, with the heat. You're dealing with, um, if you're up north, the snow. You're dealing with vandalism. You're dealing with uh, kids who have nothing better to do coming and beating on your machines, trying to put bubble gum in there and, and vend some stuff. So um, that's an issue that we've run across. The other, uh, with respect to apartments, is if you think about when people go to work, they bring their lunch or they get they use a vending machine. 
when you're in an apartment complex situation, these people are at home. So if they have, uh, if they've gone to the grocery store, they'll have drinks to bring. Um, or if they're going to go to the gym on site, they'll have uh, drinks in their own personal home because they're in their home. So that's what we've noticed has been a little bit, uh, a little bit for us. Now, not saying apartments can't be great. I know a lot of people who have a lot, but just for us, we've kind of stayed away just because of the vandalism has been an issue. And when you're spending three thousand dollars on a machine, you do not want it to be uh, to be vandalized. Okay. So, um, but yeah, I would say try it out with a hundred units. You're you're going to know pretty soon within a month or so um, how it's going to do. Now, you were leaning towards bottles. So let me break this down. We prefer cans because the machines can hold a larger capacity in the, in the machine. So it's all about being efficient in my mind. I want to go to that location as few times as possible and pull out the most amount of money. So when you're dealing with 721, people have different drink machines. We don't even have to use a uh, Vendo 721. Let's pull up the... Uh, Pull up the example here. Let's pull up the Whiteboard Wednesday. Who's ready for Whiteboard Wednesday? Smash the like button if you're ready for uh, Whiteboard Wednesday. Okay, let me get this off the screen. Let me get my producer. My producer to get this off the screen. Okay. So I hope you can see this. So up at the top here is the cost. What I'm going to start out with, this is an example in your area. Obviously, the cost is going to be different, but let's just use this as an example. We see cost right here. Let me get my cursor up here. Uh, let's see. Get this. Okay. Cost. So let's go right down the line here with uh, a can. Let's say your can in your area is $0.30. Cents. The sales price is $1, making $0.70. Uh, 70 cents per vend, okay? Now, let's say your drink machine holds 600 cans. That's $420, right? So if you're making 70 cents, now I put an asterisk by profit because obviously there's sales tax that goes into it, there's repairs that go into it. Um, there's, there's other variables. It's not all profit, but for this simplistic example, I see you, Adam Zer in the building, welcome. Welcome. I'll get to your question here in just a minute. Um, 600 cans. Let's say the machine holds 600 cans. $420 in profit, right, that you're going to clear. Now let's go to uh, bottles. So we use 16.9 ounce bottles. Whole another video. The reason why we don't use 20 ounces is because of Coke and Pepsi have a monopoly and you have to order 20 ounce through them. Think about it. You can get a can from the dollar store, Walmart, Publix, Winn-Dixie, wherever. 20 ounce bottles. To buy in bulk, you have to buy through Coke and Pepsi, which means they control the price and it's a higher price. So we sell 16.9 ounce bottles, which we can get at Walmart and Sam's Club for 50 cents. So let's say you sell those bottles right here. $1.25, that means you're making 75 cents. Let's get my big old head off the screen. How do we get this off of here? Okay, and let's say the capacity on that machine, the capacity on that machine is 300, okay? Because it's about half. It can hold about half as many bottles as cans because what you have to remember is when you are vending cans and bottles, bottles really can only go two deep. Cans in a 721, you can put four deep. In uh, bottles, two deep. So obviously you're cutting down uh, the capacity of that machine a lot. Okay? Let's move over here. So if it's the capacity is 300, get my cursor over here, that means you're going to, uh, your profit's $225. So look at that right there. There's the numbers on the face of it. Keeping in mind that my mentality, hill vending mentality, is we want to load the machine up without not, with anything running out. This is assuming that it all sells out. Okay, you're gonna make almost two what two hundred and 
almost $200 more, $195. Okay, it holds more. That's the first uh, reason why, is you don't have to go to the account as often, less trips, less frequency, less gas, all that. When you go, you can fill it up and let it go. So, just for an example, this bottom is what you would have to charge to beat, to roughly beat um, the cans. So let's say you have 50 cents for the bottle, same bottle right here, and you charge $2 for your bottle. So you're making $1.50 a turn, and the capacity is still the same. So you're at $450. So this is how you can kind of think about it. It doesn't matter to me which 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 way you like. Um, if you like bottles, uh, you can do bottles. But this is how you would think about it in terms of how much money I'm going to make. How much money I'm going to make uh, whether I'm doing cans or bottles. So to, uh, to sum it up, Guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Then I'll get to your questions. If you have a question, drop it in the comments. I'll get to it right now before I end this. You go less often, less trips. That's number one. If you run out of a product, the column for a bottles is only gonna have half the capacity, so you're gonna run out quicker. That's a problem. Then you're gonna be out of product more often than you would be with cans. Something a lot of people may not know: the dates are longer. The dates on a, let's just take a can of Coke, for a can as opposed to a bottle, you're talking a difference of months, expiration date wise. On diets, it's even more sensitive than that, okay? As far as when that product is going to time out. That's another reason cans have a benefit over, um, over bottles. The dates are longer. And then I touched on this a little bit, but they're in my area, at least in Tampa Bay, Florida, home of the Tampa Bay Lightning and Tampa Bay Buccaneers who won. And then you also have the Rays who are going to win the World Series. But let's not get on that right now. Let me settle down. Let me compose myself. Um, the, the Coke and Pepsi, in order to get 20 ounce bottles from them, you can't get them at a distributor. You can, but they're more they're more expensive. You can get them at you have to basically you need to order them through Coke or Pepsi, and they mark the price up from eighty cents to ninety cents. So you have to charge more. Now, when you're out there competing to try to get business, Coke and Pepsi can charge a lower price because it costs. Think about how much it costs them per bottle. What pennies? Comment in the comments how much you think it's cost them per one bottle, one twenty ounce. Then they're going to charge you 80 cents, 90 cents, and you have to turn around and in order to make any money, you have to charge two dollars. So when you're competing in the marketplace, the higher price uh, they have a stranglehold on that. They have a monopoly on the distribution of the 20 ounce bottles, and it's a higher price. Cans, think about it. Cans, you can go to any grocery store. You can go basically to any store and buy if there's a sale on 12 pack of uh, cans, Coke or Pepsi. They do not have them, uh, and that people were always having sales. I remember when I started out, I'll find the picture, I'll have to find the picture, we'll go to the Dollar Tree and buy 400 cases of Coke and load up on them when they were 25 cents a can. Okay? So that's another benefit, is you're not controlled by the pricing that they, that they have. So, let's see. Let me pull this off of here. Let's see if we have any uh, comments. So I hope that helps. I hope that answers your questions on cans or bottles. Gives you some insight as to the, the pricing, the capacity, and why you might want to go with cans over bottles. Let's see, Adam Zur has a question. Is there a vending machine that I can use to vend beer? So as long as it's a 12 ounce can, Adam, or a 16 ounce can, a standard vending machine would work just fine. Obviously, glass bottles would not be uh, uh, recommended. And if I don't know, Adam, if you're kind of a white claw kind of um, kind of guy, kind of seems kind of the vibe you're giving me right now. You might be kind of like a white claw guy. Um, 
you might probably you probably that's like a Red Bull can. You probably have to get some shims or change it. So yeah, if you wanted to vend a 12 ounce can, you 100% could do that through a uh, regular machine. Two cents a bottle. Guessing on the uh, on the bottles. Great guess. That's what I was thinking in my head. They spend probably a lot of their money on advertising, marketing, and uh, other things besides producing the sugar water. So um, there is no prize to give out, unfortunately. If you smash the like button, maybe, maybe one day Hill Vending will make it and we can all celebrate together. And you'll be the first, one of the first subscribers under 10,000 to, uh, to produce that. So awesome. Um, <laughs> Let's see, last comment here we have. I could put a glass bottle in a paper bag. Yeah. So it seems like we have a little bit of a troll, a troll situation going on here, but that's okay. You're welcome to. You're welcome to. Um, that's it, guys. That's what I have. If you have another question, if you have any other um, questions you'd like to see answered, drop them down below. And, uh, and remember... Until next time, keep your drinks cold and your snacks fresh. Have a great day.